Hi, welcome. Today we're going to tackle the question, how do I log into my WordPress site? And just to be clear, I'm talking about a self-hosted version of the WordPress software. That means that you've installed or somebody you know has installed the WordPress software on a web host. Maybe you've got a shared hosting plan or something like that. And uh, now you are trying to log into this so that you can edit and configure your site. We're not talking about WordPress.com, like a, a free blog that you would set up at the WordPress.com website. We're talking about the actual real full-blown WordPress software. Um, I'm making an assumption right here now that you actually have this software installed. If you don't, you're going to have to go back and either get someone to install it for you, or if you've got a hosting plan, you can uh, follow the steps there to install uh, WordPress. We're going to assume you're already there. You've installed your WordPress site. Um, as we have right here, I've got my fresh RoboBunny attack site, which is apparently just another WordPress site. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to log in. Why do I want to log into this site. Okay, well, let's start at the beginning here. When you are using software such as WordPress, a content management system like WordPress, to create a website, you actually have two views, okay, two ways to look at the site. There's the way that the rest of the world sees your site, and that's currently what we're looking at right now. This is what we will, you know, you might hear this referred to as the front end of your website, okay? And this is the, this is the part of your website that the whole world sees, okay? Um, but if you want to actually edit your site, if you want to make changes to it, you want to add content, you want to change the look of it, the colors, the images, the layout, all that stuff, you're going to have to log into the back end of your website. Okay, so it's pretty fundamental, but let's just, I am starting at the beginning here. Um, so how do we log into the back end of, the, of a WordPress website? Okay, on a fresh installation, you'll usually have a link down at the bottom here called login, um, but we're not going to rely on that because the reason is, is because one of the first things you'll probably do is get rid of that link right there, okay? You don't need to advertise to the world how to log into your site. Presumably, you want to be the only person who logs into this site, right? Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get used to this from the beginning. Uh, to access the login page for your WordPress site, you're going to just put your cursor in the address here. And this is this is the address for my particular site. My site happens to be installed at demo.robobunnyattack.com slash WordPress. Yours will be installed elsewhere, okay? You just add your cursor to the end here. Okay, assuming you're on the front page, and you just add WP dash admin. Okay, and then we hit enter. And how do you remember it's WP admin? Easy. WP stands for WordPress. So just think WordPress WordPress dash admin, and that will redirect you to this login page. And this is where we log in. Okay, uh, when whoever set this up for you uh, should have given you a username and password, um, or you know, if you set it up yourself, you would have your own username and password. So you're going to go ahead and enter that username. For me, it's RoboBunnyAttack. That's my username. And my password, my super secret password, hopefully I enter it correctly there. I'm going to go ahead and click Login. And there we go. Now this is the back end of your WordPress site. See, uh, and this is where you need to log in in order to access all the administrative options and add content and do all sorts of things. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hover over where it says RoboBunny Attack. See where it says vis Visit Site? I'm going to right click on this so that I can open this link in a new tab. And this is really useful because this allows you to see the front end of your website as well as the back end of your website simultaneously. You can just flip between the two like that. And that is really, really handy. Now notice, I'm calling this the front end of your website, but you need to understand that you are viewing this site you know, when you're logged in, okay, and when you've got this black bar at the top, you are viewing the site as an administrator. So what you see here might not be 100% what the general public sees, like the average visitor who does not actually who isn't actually logged into your site. So even though this can give you an idea of what your site is going to look like, if you want to be absolutely sure what your site looks like, you should really open up a different web browser, okay, and load up your page there. This is what your site looks like to the general public. And when I'm developing WordPress sites, I really like to have two separate web browsers open. One web browser, and it's really easy. If you're good with your shortcuts, especially on a Mac, you can just alt tab or command tab over and just swap between the two really fast like that. Um, this is where I'm logged in, and I can tell that I'm logged in because of that black bar right there. 
and I switch over to Firefox, just Command Tab, and here I'm not logged in. Now you might be asking, you say, why? Why bother? Why not just look at this? This looks the same. And yeah, right now it does look the same, but once you start getting into more advanced uh, functionality, you start configuring your site, you may find that there are certain things uh, that um, you need to be logged in to see and certain things that the general public will not see. So this is really handy to just kind of zip back and forth like that. Here in Chrome we are logged in and in Firefox we are not logged in. Use the web browsers of your choice, okay? But that's why it's handy to have multiple web browsers installed in your computer. Okay, so we've logged in to our website. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. To log out, you would just hover over here and click the log out button, and that's always a good idea to do once you're done doing any sort of work on your website. The front page here is a dashboard page. You can dismiss this message, and then you see all this information. We're gonna learn eventually what all of these things mean, um, but for now, the important thing is you now know how to log into your WordPress site. All you need to do is just add that wp-admin to the end of the address of your website and that will redirect you to a login page and you're in. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope that that was helpful and I'll see you next time.